all right my people welcome back on to this channel well this is another one reaching us tinumbu protesters storm presidential election tribunal make strong demands all right my people the news in details well on to this aggrieved protesters on monday stormed the appeal court venue of the presidential election petition tribunal demanding that the may 29 inauguration of president-elect Bola Tinumbu be stopped. Well, onto this, the protesters who stood outside, they caught holding placards with different inscriptions like Do not swear him Tinumbu, he didn't get 25% in FCT. Do not swear in Tinumbu, Shetima had a double nomination. And then INEC broke the law. Tinumbu didn't meet the constitutional requirement to be declared winner. Amongst others said that the president-elect did not meet the constitutional requirement to be declared winner of the February 25th election. However, while making their demands, the protesters were seen chanting, our vote must come to and the freedom come by struggle well me when news reports that the presidential election petition tribunal commenced proceedings today recall that the labor party candidate had in his petition accused bola tinumbu of the ruling all progressive congress apc and the independent national electoral commission INEC of alleged corrupt practices and the non-compliance with the provisions of the Electoral Act 2022. Well, INEC had declared Tinumbu the winner of the election after he pulled 8794725, followed by Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, who came second after he pulled 69845201. And uh, Peter Hobi, who was third, who pulled 6,101,533 votes. Hobi, in his petition, argued that the electoral umpire altered election results in about 18,000 polling units against him while refusing to use the Bimoda voter accreditation system, machine mandatory to accredit voters and then upload results in real time in in line with the electoral act well the tribunal consists of five justices of the court of appeal preceded by aruna simon samani other judges on the panel are justices stephen ada haba mohammed bolaji yusuf and the uh, J U Ugo. Yeah, so and then exactly what it is right now on to this one. Well, a lot of people do have actually reacted onto this one. And the people are of the opinion that hmm, do not swear in Bola Metinumbu. And uh, right now, no, we already know what is going on in the country. A lot of people are out there trying to see who exactly is going to rule us because we are tired of what is going on in the country. Well, I know a lot of majority of people are even tired. If you say you are not tired, maybe you are one of the people that are you know, using Bairo to turn things around for millions, for billions of Naira. But majority of people, in fact, the masses are not happy with the situation the country is. That's why a lot of people have actually left the country. Somebody was uh, telling me some hours ago that, Pilado, well, do you know that most of my friends actually left Nigeria for another country simply because Peter Obi did not win, simply because they did not give Peter Obi his mandate. You know, a lot of people have been like, oh, for somebody like Bola Tinubu to remain there, hmm, that Bola Tinubu is not even the issue right now, but what about his running mate? 
this set of people are ready to do and undo well and exactly what we are actually looking at let's see how it's going to play out but our prayer has been that the good lord will actually will in fact will help us all in this country the right person that will lead us to the right you no know, state to the right corner god will definitely give to us and then god will never you know, disappoint his people that's why i always talk about the fact that we still need to pray no matter what we need prayer everything in life needs prayer well a lot of things do are actually been said onto this one and right now according to some of the you know comments coming out from different people onto this one they, they, this is where you now know that majority of people are not actually happy with the situation on ground Though we still have you no know, some minor I would say they are minority supporting Bola Met you know, on this one. Well and then according to Lua hashtag Lua Lua says well no they should go ahead and then swear Tinumbu in and then set the country on fire. Tinumbu can't be swearing as president, it is completely illegal. And then if that happens, they have officially divided the country. That's serious. Well, May God punish you. Let Obi comes out that day. He go see something. Did Obi win election? Okay. Can you see? That's exactly what we are actually talking about. If Obi is uh, you know, automatically sworn in, there will be a lot of trouble. As far as Lagos is concerned, in fact, hey, it's only the good Lord that will help the fight that will come up between the Yorubas and the Igbos. There are a lot of people, some type of people will think, oh, we are just talking. But we actually know what is going on. But definitely God, in his infinite mercy, will put everything right. That's have been our prayers. Hmm. Well, according to John Major, he said, well, may God punish everyone that is against Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. Well, Billy is on his own saying that, well, these are obedience, paid protesters of interim government that could never happen. Hmm. Well, paid. Okay. See this mumu who can pay me. Okay. Well, that's another one. Somebody just replied that. I think <laughs> a lot of people are actually here to reply themselves. In no time, they are just giving out the reply. Hmm. That is serious. Well, Njoku has said that we don't need this kind of distraction now. I strongly believe that the judiciary will rewrite the wrongs of INEC no matter how long it will take them. And Etinumbu will make a history in Nigeria to be the first Nigerian president to be removed if he eventually got sworn in. Oh, that's serious. Are you serious? Hmm. Well, Abdullahi Ademola actually replied that and they had made it clear that, well, let them cause it. There is condemned product among them to be thrown away. AK-47 is the language they understand bounces thoughts. Hmm. That's serious. Well, um, tell the truth. I made it clear. Yes, says, well, what do these people want again? Oh, <laughs> that is serious. That what do these people want again? After all the issues arising from the past elections are being handled by election tribunals. They exercise patience and then wait for the outcomes of the court decisions well they should not cause any unrest in this country all right my brother my sister you can hear things for yourselves a lot of people have actually reacted in different forms that hmm, as far as this movement is concerned though we know one we allow <laughs> and uh, some people have been like oh well, go get a more uh, less okay now do the needful well my brother my sister the old thing had actually been said unto this one what more can we say me well let me have your own take my people on this and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are new on this channel all right Thanks and God bless.